Welcome to another edition of In the Community. I'm Jennifer Beck. When you think of mission work, what comes to mind? Spending years in Africa? Perhaps a few weeks on a work and witness trip in a poverty-stricken region? While both of those options have benefit, how about being a missionary in your own region by blessing others through acts of service? That's just one of the definitions of Ignite, community of relief. I recently sat down with Ignite founder, Matt Naylor. All right, we've been talking about you a lot on television in the last few weeks. Not just you, of course, we've been talking about Ignite, community relief, sure. and the projects that have been happening. This is the second year for this mission-based, I want to say, I almost was going to call it a construction project, but that's kind of correct, kind of not. It's really a service opportunity to show the hands and feet of Jesus to other people. Yeah, what we're really about is empowering the church or individuals to become missionaries to their local community through service projects, primarily home repair and things like that. We've done anything from hang a shelf for a lady who just didn't know where to turn to rebuild a basement wall. And it's really dependent on the volunteers and their knowledge and skills. So we're going to talk about volunteers in a moment because you can't do what you're doing nope. without <laughs> them. But I love what you said is to be missionaries in your community through service. Because we think about mission work, which is important in all aspects. But the, what you can offer to individuals by fixing things on their houses, I think is just, it's just huge. I mean, this lady yeah. who has a basement wall that needed fixed, every day she could look at that and then it was fixed. Yeah. And she could feel the presence of Jesus, I would hope, through all of that. Yeah, we actually had one volunteer who shared a story with me about replacing a light for a, vol or for a homeowner. And he said, every time you look at that light, I want you to think, my creator loves me. Mm -hmm. And what a great thing to, to invest into that homeowner so that every time she flips the switch and the light comes on, my creator loves me. Mm -hmm. Loves me enough to send this person who doesn't know me to just share a little bit of my need. Ah, absolutely. All right, as I mentioned, we've been talking about Ignite for, for, uh, for months here on the TV station. You've been hearing about it a lot, but we finally have Matthew Naylor here to explain exactly, tell me the heart, what is the Community Relief, Relief Project? Well, our Ignite things are to ignite a passion inside of people to go out and become missionaries and to love and serve people, because the primary goal through these Ignite events is to love and serve the homeowner. The byproduct, the oh, by the way, is we're going to fix your house. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily the primary goal. The primary goal is to build relationships with those homeowners, to show them somebody cares. And that's why we say anybody can become involved. You don't have to know how to fix anything. You don't even have to know what a hammer looks like. You can become involved by just sitting with the homeowner and sharing life. Some people like me, we're kind of tunnel vision. You give me a project, I'm on that project. Mm -hmm. And I forget the homeowner. So mm -hmm. I need that other person there beside me to really invest in the homeowner while I'm focused over here. So it takes all, all the body to come and serve the body like that. So you, you do things a little bit interestingly in the sense that you have a three-day project yes. that's going on. You did a three-day intensive, intensive basically, it was right. an intensive back in June yes. for projects in Lima that need to take place. What kind of things happened during that time? We replaced an entire roof. We did a big whole house siding project. Uh, they tore down and rebuilt a garage for somebody. Flooring was installed, electrical, uh, plumbing was done, HVAC, a really landscape, house cleaning. It was pretty much anything and everything was done. So you had a whole bunch of volunteers. I think you told yeah. me 70, 80, 90? I think 90, 90 total different volunteers. volunteers signed about. up in advance to commit yep to either part or all of your three-day event. They didn't necessarily sign up in advance. Some just showed uh -huh. up during the event, and that's fine. We'll take, I mean, I'm never gonna refuse anybody. I'm gonna get you plugged in. If you wanna help out, we will get you plugged in. So I think we ended up with 90 total different volunteers, and we averaged about 55 a day during the event. So through those people, we were able to complete, I think, 22 different projects. In three, in three days, days time, yeah. 22 projects. Yep. That's incredible. Yep. And now you're getting ready to do it again in Van Wert. Van Wert. Not very long from now, August nope. 5th through the 7th. Yeah, we're gonna, I think we've got 35 people signed up right now for that. But again, I'm sure people are gonna show up during the event that haven't signed up and that's great. So I'm hoping to have another maybe 60, 80 volunteers in Van Wert. Cause it's our first year there in Van Wert. So we're not sure what to expect, but we do have needs that have really started to pour in. So there's a lot of roofing needs that come in. Um, I think there's some flooring issues, some electrical, just again, 
I think anything and everything is going to be available. So can you paint a picture for me if a person at home is thinking, I think I want to do that, but I'm not really sure what I'm getting into. What is it going to be like for them if they say, I want to do this upcoming event in Van Wert? Really, again, we're about empowering that individual. We're about empowering the volunteers. So the volunteers in the driver's seat, if they show up and they only want to work a few hours a day, that's fine. We can get plugged them in somewhere where they can be useful in those three hours a day. Because some people can't really do the full day. Uh, if they want to work all three days, that's fine too. But when you show up in the morning, we're going to feed you breakfast. We're going to have a short devotional and worship time. And then we're going to allow you to kind of pick the job that you want to serve on. We will, we're trusting the guy's going to send people who are capable of leading these jobs. And once the job's open, any volunteer can sign up to help with that job. Again, you get to determine how long you're working on that job for. So if you're really geared towards a specific thing like painting or flooring, I'm sure there's going to be those kind of jobs available and you can pick that job. We're not asking you to do something you're not comfortable with. But you also get the enjoyment of the relationship building. Because Absolutely. Because every single person who volunteers for this isn't just out here to do a construction project. They're there to, because they want to spread the love of Jesus as well. Absolutely, and it's not just with the homeowners, it's with the people you're working beside. You begin to build relationships and encourage one another. And I'm sure we have people that serve that aren't really believers, but they just want to give back. Mm. So that dynamic of just really being a light all over the place is really neat. So we have Van Wert coming up in August, and then there's a three-day event in Troy in coming Troy up in September. In Troy in September. So we're going to go down there. We're actually going to stay at a church camp facility, so there'll be cabins available. Mm -hmm. So if you're in Lima and you want to come down, we will take care of you. We're going to put you up in a cabin or some sort of room. There'll be shower facilities. We're going to feed you all the meals when you're there. We take care of you. We really want to take all the obstacles that might be in your way out of your way so that we can encourage you to get involved. Matt, this is a this is a huge ministry, really. And when you think of all the facets that come together, do you remember when God birthed this in you and oh, yeah. said, this is, what, this is what I want you to start? It was actually shortly after Katrina. I served with a mission called Eight Days of Hope, who are now a national ministry. They were started thinking they were going to be a one-time event right after Katrina. And I've actually talked with the leadership there, borrowed a lot of their information. I said, hey, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. Can I just borrow some of your information? So our three-day events are kind of modeled after their eight-day events. Um, and they do these around the country after disasters and things like that. So it was birthed in 2000, whatever Katrina was, 12. I don't remember how. It was even before that, 2008, I don't remember. Yes, yeah. It was birthed early on, and I started to buy tools. I started to buy a trailer, and I knew God was planning this. I just didn't know how or when. And in 2000, late 2017, he started to tap me on the shoulder and say, it's time. Mm -hmm. So in April of 2018, we actually officially launched as Community Relief. And at first, it was just me and whatever volunteers I could gather to do one project at a time but we were quickly overwhelmed by the amount of phone calls that came in. So I thought, how do we get more people involved? And that's where I went to Eight Days of Hope and said, hey, can I borrow your stuff? Can I borrow your model? And we are doing that in an effort to ignite that passion inside of the volunteers so that all year long, they can still go to our website, communityrelief.net, and see there are right now 30 listed jobs that are available to be done in Lima. If you see one you want to do or you think, hey, I can tackle that with a few of my buddies or you have a men's group, there's actually a place to fill out, hey, I want to lead this job or hey, I just want to be a general volunteer on this job. And we will connect with you to provide whatever materials you need. If you need to borrow any tools, if you need any advice, we're going to, again, empower you to be the missionary all year long to the Lima community. Now, do you need donated materials as well? I, mean, I never say no. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we operate a little bit differently. We don't ask for anything. I don't go solicit funds or anything like that. I actually kind of modeled myself after a lot of missionaries like George Mueller who said, I was just really? going to mention him, actually, now that you say that. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's kneeling before the throne of grace and saying, God, you called mm -hmm. me, you provide. Now, he moves on people's hearts to do whatever. We have been provided for for over three years now. And been enabled to grow in those three years. So individuals who want to help out on a one-day project should go to your website. Yep. If they want to help out in Van Wert, they should go to your website. If they're being, if their heart's being stirred right now to say, maybe I'm one of those people that you're talking about who's going to help with other avenues, should they also go to your website? Go to the website. There you can contact us. Um, everything comes directly to me at this point. So I will, 
It may take me a few days. I get overwhelmed with phone calls and stuff like that, but I will return phone calls. I will get back to everybody. Of course, you can contact us here at TV44 and we will get you connected to Matt Naylor. But there's an event coming up in Van Wert in August. There's one coming up in Troy in September, but you don't have to wait because there are things going on right now in Lima. One day, two day, three day projects that need help. Um, also, they can use help cooking food in Absolutely. Van Wert. Um, being a part of the worship time, so many ways to be involved in this ministry. Yeah, I mean, general cleaning of the facilities that we're using or just some people, that's all they need help with is they aren't capable of cleaning their house like they need to anymore. So they just need somebody to come in and help them out that way. Again, visit communityrelief.net to learn more about the upcoming outreach events in Van Wert and Troy, as well as the one-day projects that are available anytime.